The average hauler would be probably 10 to 15 miles long with a one lane road that just ends at the last family's house. I go to the heads of the haulers and the further you go to the heads of the haulers, I think the more isolated, the more remote the family lifestyle is. What do you say, Joe? You doing all right? Yeah. I brought some with me. What do you think of that? How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Good, thanks. What y'all been doing today? Nothing. Nothing. Sitting around the house. The Napier family, which I met in 1985 in Beehive, Kentucky, I was amazed when I first went there. They, they lived in uh, the head of a holler and four or five different little houses with chickens and hound dogs and other animals uh, running around in the yard. And I thought of them as a typical historical Appalachian family living like a family might have lived a hundred years ago. You like having a big family, John? Why, it's all right, boys. It works a man hard, don't it? Man, man, I work for a hundred dollars a day. Couldn't save a dime. John was a mountain man who wore overalls and a cap, farmed his land, very traditional Appalachian roots. We lived there 46 years now. That's a long time for somebody to live at one place. Yeah, sure is. Yeah. I never did bother nobody. Berthy Napier had the spirit and a dignity that, that had an inner strength in it that's rare, that one would rarely see. What about you and Bridget? I see this whole place here yeah. up to the top of the hill, top of the mountain there, mm -hmm. and corn and beans. That's all right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And I hope for the dinner. Yep. Yeah. And you believe at the first time that my daddy moved up here and I didn't have shoes to wear. Is that right? And asked uh, that right there. Is that right? Little John? Do I have shoes to wear? No, no. Uh, we split her barefoot. Winter and summer. Winter time, too. Winter and summer. With snow on the ground. Snow on the ground. Yeah. We yeah. got saw firewood, you know, for a great yeah. barefoot. Ah. That's right. First pair of leather shoes you ever had in your life. New shoes, I don't know. <laughs> you bought them for me. <laughs> yeah. I think women in, in her generation, they farmed and worked the hillsides right beside the men. They, they planted corn, they hoed corn. Uh, I mean, we're talking acres. They would go out for all day, and then we would come home and cook uh, meals. Uh, it was an incredible hard life. 